A disaster film or disaster movie is a film genre that has an impending or ongoing disaster as its subject and primary plot device. Such disasters include natural disasters such as floods, earthquakes, tsunamis or asteroid collisions, accidents such as shipwrecks or airplane crashes, or calamities like worldwide disease pandemics. A subgenre of action films, these films usually feature some degree of build-up, the disaster itself, and sometimes the aftermath, usually from the point of view of specific individual characters or their families or portraying the survival tactics of different people. These films often feature large casts of actors and multiple plot lines, focusing on the characters' attempts to avert, escape or cope with the disaster and its aftermath. The genre came to particular prominence during the 1970s with the release of high-profile films such as Airport 1970, followed in quick succession by The Poseidon Adventure 1972, Earthquake 1974, and The Towering Inferno 1974. .The casts were generally made up of familiar character actors. Once the disaster begins in the film, the characters are usually confronted with human weaknesses, often falling in love and almost always finding a villain to blame. The genre experienced a renewal in the 1990s boosted by computer-generated imagery CGI and large studio budgets which allowed for more focus on the destruction, and less on the human drama, as seen in films like 1998's Armageddon and Deep Impact. Nevertheless, the films usually feature a persevering hero or heroine Charlton Heston, Steve McQueen, etc. called upon to lead the struggle against the threat. In many cases, the evil or selfish individuals are the first to succumb to the conflagration. Origins <inaudible> 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 Disaster themes are almost as old as the film medium itself. One of the earliest was Fire. 1901 made by James Williamson of England. The silent film portrayed a burning house and the firemen who arrived to quench the flames and rescue the inhabitants. Origins of the genre can also be found in In Nacht und die Eyes about the sinking of the Titanic, Atlantis 1913, also about the Titanic, Noah's Ark 1928, the biblical story from Genesis about the Great Flood, Deluge 1933, about tidal waves devastating New York City, King Kong 1933, with a gigantic gorilla rampaging through New York City, and the last days of Pompeii 1935, dealing with the Mount Vesuvius volcanic eruption in 79 AD John Ford's The Hurricane 1937 concluded with the striking sequence of a tropical cyclone ripping through a fictional South Pacific island. The drama San Francisco 1936 depicted the historic 1906 San Francisco earthquake, while in Old Chicago 1937 recreated the Great Chicago Fire which burned through the city in 1871. Carol Reed's 1939 film, The Stars Look Down, examines a catastrophe at a coal mine in northeast England. Inspired by the end of World War II and the beginning of the Atomic Age, science fiction films of the 1950s, including When Worlds Collide 1953, The War of the Worlds 1953, and Godzilla, King of the Monsters. 1956, routinely used world disasters as plot elements. This trend would continue with The Deadly Mantis 1957, The Day the Earth Caught Fire 1961, and Crack in the World 1965. Volcanic disasters would also feature in films such as The Devil at Four O'Clock starring Spencer Tracy and Frank Sinatra, and the 1969 epic Krakatoa, East of Java starring Maximilian Schell, as in the silent film era. The sinking of the Titanic would continue to be a popular disaster with filmmakers and audiences alike. Werner Klingler and Herbert Selpin released the epic film, Titanic 1943 film. The film was soon banned in Germany and its director, Selpin, was allegedly executed. The film was a staple for all Titanic films, and scenes became stock footage for the British version. 
Clifton Webb and Barbara Stanwyck starred in the 1953 20th Century Fox production Titanic, followed by the highly regarded British film A Night to Remember in 1958. The British action adventure film The Last Voyage, 1960, while not about the Titanic disaster but a predecessor to the Poseidon adventure, starred Robert Stack as a man desperately attempting to save his wife, Dorothy Malone, and child trapped in a sinking ocean liner. The film, concluding with the dramatic sinking of the ship, was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Visual Effects. Additional precursors to the popular disaster films of the 1970s include The High and the Mighty, 1954, starring John Wayne and Robert Stack as pilots of a crippled airplane attempting to cross the ocean, Zero Hour. 1957, written by Arthur Haley, who also penned the 1968 novel Airport, about an airplane crew that succumbs to food poisoning, jet storm, and jet over the Atlantic. Two 1959 films, both featuring attempts to blow up an airplane in mid-flight: The Crowded Sky, 1960, which depicts a mid-air collision, and The Doomsday Flight, 1966, written by Rod Serling and starring Edmund O'Brien as a disgruntled aerospace engineer who plants a barometric pressure bomb on an airliner built by his former employer set to explode when the airliner descends for landing. Topic: 1970s. The golden age of the disaster film began in 1970 with the release of Airport. A huge financial success earning more than $100 million $590 million in 2017 adjusted dollars. At the box office, the film was directed by George Seaton and starred Burt Lancaster, Dean Martin, George Kennedy, Jacqueline Bissett and Helen Hayes. While not exclusively focused on a disaster, in this case, an airplane crippled by the explosion of a bomb, the film established the blueprint of multiple plotlines acted out by an all-star cast. Airport was nominated for 10 Academy Awards including Best Picture, winning Best Supporting Actress for Hayes, with the 1972 release of The Poseidon Adventure, another huge financial success notching an impressive $84 million in U.S. Canada gross rental theatrical rentals, $490 million in 2017 adjusted dollars. The disaster film officially became a movie-going craze. Directed by Ronald Neem and starring Gene Hackman, Ernest Borgnine, Shelley Winters and Red Buttons, the film detailed survivors' attempts at escaping a sinking ocean liner overturned by a giant wave triggered by an earthquake. The Poseidon Adventure was nominated for eight Academy Awards, including Best Supporting Actress for Shelley Winters and winning for Original Song and receiving a Special Achievement Award for Visual Effects. The trend reached its zenith in 1974 with the release of The Towering Inferno, Earthquake and Airport 1975, the first airport sequel. The competing films enjoyed staggering success at the box office, with The Towering Inferno earning $116 million $548 million in 2017 adjusted dollars, Earthquake $79 million $376 million in 2017 adjusted dollars, and Airport 1975 $47 million $235 million in 2017 adjusted dollars, in theatrical rentals, arguably the greatest of the 1970s. 70s disaster films, The Towering Inferno was a joint venture of 20th Century Fox and Warner Brothers and was produced by Irwin Allen eventually known as the Master of Disaster, as he had previously helmed the Poseidon Adventure and later produced The Swarm, Beyond the Poseidon Adventure and When Time Ran Out. Directed by John Gilliman and starring Paul Newman, Steve McQueen, William Holden and Faye Dunaway, the film depicts a huge fire engulfing the tallest building in the world and firefighters' attempts at rescuing occupants trapped on the top floor. The film was nominated for eight Academy Awards including Best Picture, winning for Best Cinematography, Best Film Editing and Original Song. Earthquake was also honored with four Academy Award nominations for its impressive special effects of a massive earthquake leveling the city of Los Angeles, winning for Best Sound and receiving a Special Achievement Award for Visual Effects. The film was directed by Mark Robson and starred Charlton Heston, Ava Gardner, Genevieve Buold, George Kennedy and Lorne Green. 
It was noted as the first film to utilize Sensoround, where massive sub-woofer speakers were installed in theaters to recreate the vibrating sensation of an earthquake. Several made-for-TV movies also capitalized on the craze including Heatwave. 1974, The Day the Earth Moved 1974, Hurricane 1974, Flood 1976, and Fire 1977, the trend continued on a larger scale with the Hindenburg 1975 starring George C. Scott, the Cassandra Crossing 1976 starring Burt Lancaster, Two Minute Warning 1976 starring Charlton Heston, Black Sunday 1977 starring Robert Shaw, Roller Coaster in Sensoround 1977 starring George Siegel, Damnation Alley 1977 starring Jan Michael Vincent, Avalanche 1978 starring Rock Hudson, Grey Lady Down 1978 also starring Charlton Heston, Hurricane, a 1979 remake of John Ford's 1937 film starring Jason Robards, and City on Fire 1979 starring Barry Newman. Skyjacked 1972 was a lesser entry into the disaster film canon, following on the heels of Airport, though preceding its sequel Airport 1975. The Airport series would continue with Airport 77 1977 and The Concorde, Airport 79 1979, with George Kennedy portraying the character Joe Petroni in each sequel. The Poseidon Adventure was followed by the sequel Beyond the Poseidon Adventure 1979. The genre began to burn out by the late 1970s when the big-budget films The Swarm 1978, Meteor 1979, Hurricane 1979, The Concorde. Airport 79 1979, Beyond the Poseidon Adventure 1979, and When Time Ran Out. 1980, performed poorly at the box office signaling declining interest in the disaster film product, although The Big Bus 1976, an earlier disaster film spoof, had failed to be a hit. The end of the trend was marked by the 1980 comedy Airplane, which fondly spoofed the clichés of the genre to surprising box office success, producing a sequel of its own, Airplane 2, the sequel, in 1982. Topic. Genre revival The resurgence of big-budget productions of the genre aided by advancements in CGI technology during the 1990s include such films as Twister, Independence Day, Daylight, Dante's Peak, Volcano, Hard Rain, Deep Impact, and Armageddon. In 1997, James Cameron produced, wrote and directed a version of the epic story, Titanic. The film combined romance with intricate special effects and was a huge success, becoming the highest grossing film which it remained for 12 years with over $2.1 billion worldwide, and winning 11 Academy Awards including Best Picture and Best Director. See also List of disaster films Doomsday Film